Have you ever heard about Helmholtz coils and wondered how they work? A Helmholtz coil is a device made up of two identical coils placed parallel to each other, at a distance equal to their radius, with equal current flowing through them in the same direction. This setup creates a highly uniform magnetic field in the space between them, which is useful for experiments and applications, requiring a stable and consistent magnetic environment. The magnitude of the B field at the center of the coil can be described by the following analytical solution. Through this tutorial, you'll be guided on how to create, configure, and simulate a Helmholtz coil setup in Sim 4 LifeLight. Let's get started. After signing into Sim 4 LifeLight, we see a clean, user friendly workspace where we can access all our personal and shared projects filtered by labels set during creation. Now, we'll create a new project and give it a descriptive name like Helmholtz Coil Study to keep track, especially when managing multiple simulations. Once the project is set up, we can easily share it with collaborators by clicking the three dots at the top right corner, selecting Share, and either entering their email addresses or copying the link for email sharing. We can also explore the project structure by selecting Project Files to view all Smash files, results, and scripts associated with the project. Currently, this folder is empty, so we'll start by creating a new Smash file to model and simulate our Helmholtz coil. To begin, select Open. This action automatically creates a new Smash file, which we'll save as My Helmholtz Coil. To start constructing our model, go to the Modeling tab. In the Templates section of the ribbon, select Coil to automatically generate concentric rectangular loops. Customize the coil by choosing the solenoid configuration, setting the shape to circular, and adjusting it to parallel circles, with a radius of 100 mm. To model a Helmholtz coil, select the initial coil and use the Clone function, which enables us to create an exact duplicate. Position the cloned coil 100 mm away to match the coil's radius, ensuring proper alignment. Finally, select both coils, right-click, and then Group Selection. Rename the created folder to Helmholtz Coil. Next, create a solid body to interact with the coil. In the ribbon under Solids, select Cylinder and adjust its dimensions to an 80 mm radius and 50 mm height. Align the cylinder centrally between the coils, ensuring it sits parallel to the coil loops, and rename it Load. Go to the Simulation tab. Right-click within the panel to create a new simulation, selecting Low Frequency, Magneto Quasi Static Solver, and set the frequency to 1000 Hz. Confirm that the background properties are assigned as air. From the multi-tree, drag and drop the Helmholtz coil into the Sources section to create a new source settings with a current amplitude of 1 ampere. Ensure both sources circulate in the same direction, which is essential for the Helmholtz configuration. In the grid settings, create a new manual grid setting. Drag the coils into this setting and rename it to something descriptive, such as Coil Grid. Set the maximum grid step to 1 mm across each axis to achieve precise discretization, ensuring high accuracy in field calculations. Rename the simulation to Helmholtz Coil Unloaded. Then update the grid, create voxels, and run the simulation. To simulate a loaded Helmholtz coil, you have two options. The first option is to clone the previous unloaded simulation and then add the load. Alternatively, 
You can utilize the results from the unloaded coil simulation by applying the calculated magnetic field directly to the load. To do this, create a secondary LF Magneto Quasi Static Simulation. Go to the Sources section, create a new Vector Potential Settings, and drag the Field Sensor Settings object from the initial simulation into it. This imports the magnetic field results from the unloaded state, allowing the field to interact with the load. Drag the load into a new Materials Settings folder and assign it Muscle Tissue Properties from the e -Ease LF Material Library. In Grid Settings, set up two manual grid settings, one for the load and one for the coil, with a maximum grid step of 1 mm. Move the load from Automatic Grid Settings to its designated grid folder and then drag the Helmholtz coil from the multi-tree into its own grid folder. This setup defines the computational space without considering the coil as an active source. Finally, update the grid and create voxels. Select View Voxels from the ribbon to verify the voxel representation. Rename the simulation to Helmholtz Coil Loaded and run it. We can monitor the simulation running process from the logger console at the right bottom corner or by opening the task manager at the right upper corner next to the smash file name. Moving to the analysis tab, we will start by comparing the numerically calculated B field along the main axis of the Helmholtz coil with the analytical solution. To do this, select the Helmholtz coil and loaded simulation, then overall field, sensor extractor, and finally B field. From the ribbon, select Viewers and then Slice Viewer. In the controller window, go to the Slice Options section and navigate to the coil's isocenter plane. Under Field Data Options, choose Absolute Magnitude from the drop down menu. Scroll down to the 2D Plot section. Set the plot to Spatial Mode and enable the Show Location checkbox. Adjust the position indicator to follow the line connecting the centers of the two coils. Set the color bar scale to linear and hit create plot. This plot shows the calculated B field distribution between the coils. Now, to overlay the analytical and numerical solutions, use Sim for Life integration with Jupyter Lab. In the upper right corner, click the three lines icon and select Open Notebooks to launch Jupyter Lab. Navigate to your saved notebooks. Here, We've prepared a notebook that replicates the steps we performed previously in the analysis tab, but programmatically. It also calculates the analytical solution for comparison. Run the notebook to plot both solutions together. For better convergence, you can increase the grid resolution within the simulation settings. To analyze the electric field induced by the low-frequency time-varying magnetic field in the Helmholtz coils, follow these steps. Select the Helmholtz coil loaded simulation and go to Overall Field, then Sensor Extractor, and finally E-Field. In the ribbon, choose Viewers and then Vector Field Viewer. In the controller window, under Data Field Options, shift the phase to 90 degrees. The oscillating magnetic field around the load induces an electric field that is phase shifted by 90 degrees. To observe the perpendicular nature of the electric and magnetic fields, switch to the overall field extractor, select B field, and then choose Streamline Viewer from the ribbon. Increase the sample count and line length for higher resolution and set the source to planar. Navigate through the X, Y, and Z coordinates to reach the isocenter plane. Now, looking back at the electric field viewer, you'll notice that the induced electric field is present only within the volume of the load. This is because the load's non-zero conductivity allows the magnetic field to induce an electric field within it. With these steps, you are now ready to set up 
simulate and explore the magnetic field of a Helmholtz coil in Sim4 Lifelight.